Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the David and Goliath Lockdown Quiz to Fight Hunger. Well, myself, Rehan Varis, hosting this amazing uh, quiz which has been going on for last couple of last week. And we have the four semi finalists, and we'll be having some real good quizzing time with all of them. Uh, I would like to thank my team members who have curated, helped me curate this beautiful event and done a wonderful job researching and of course they are there with me at the back end but of course you can hear their voice in between, in and out. Hi, uh, so my name is Aldrin, so my name is Aldrin Diago. I currently work in, uh, I currently work uh, in human resources as part of a recruitment team for a market research firm and very much born and brought up in Calcutta, in fact part of the same school of Rayhan Rice. I'm Vasma Mirza and currently I'm, uh, I'm do- I was doing my internship before the lockdown in a clear broken firm and uh, I'm also an, a social entrepreneur I'm, uh, I'm trying to revive Madhubani art Wow, that's very interesting Hi, hello everyone, uh, my name is Dhruv Mukherjee I'm uh, also born and brought up in Kolkata, I live here currently I work in, uh, in Ogilvy, Kolkata in advertising My gratitude and all my best wishes to Voice Works, Rehan and the entire team, not just for the lockdown quiz but for everything uh, in the future. My name is Ekla Velihala. I am Rajkeet Dihala. So, as uh, we have already said, ki we are into infrastructure development. This is just what we, what I wanted to share. Uh, David Gulayat and Voice Works, thank you for taking uh, taking out such a, an opportunity for us to participate and help the society in some manner. With this uh, good note and in high spirits, we start the semi-final one and I take your permission to get going with this thing. So, do I have it? Yes, please. Alright, we got a nod from my team members and you can see the screen. Yes. All of you. So, yes. here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. That's for team one, Aldrin. So that's the same video basically. It's a pick. Any one pick. It's a flower. It's a flower. And you need to choose. Yes, your answer please. Monkey orchid. Absolutely, monkey orchid. Super answer. It's also called Dracula Simi. Uh, Simei, it's a monkey orchid. Thank you. Thank you. Question number two for team two. The neglected, distressed memorial now is used as a tea stall in one of the central business district of Calcutta. Name the memorial. You have four options out here. Pick one. Team two. Prince of Wales visit memorial. Are you sure? Yes, yes, you are sure. You're absolutely right. You get it completely correct. It's option B, Prince of Wales Visit Memorial. So you want to share some details about it also? <laughs> <laughs> I know you know about it. You're just lucky to get that. <laughs> no, but I would like to have, you know, can you give me 30 seconds? Okay, please go ahead. This is, this is a very, very important monument, but unfortunately, it has been neglected and thousands of people uh, passed by this monument uh, and they are not aware of the importance of this monument. I wish something can be done about it. We try a bit to just raise awareness and Huntage also we made this spot apart and similarly also bring it up in the questions out here. So this is in Dalhousie area. Okay, question number three for team three, Dhruv. Which bank has recently rolled, oh, you just spoke of Alexa and it's here, rolled out a new feature of voice banking services on Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant for its customer. Three, four options, you have to choose which one is right. Uh, 
just a guess uh, icici c icici absolutely correct everybody going on the trot it's option c icici bank full full points to dhruv we move next to question number 4 for team 4 the lehalas let's see the colors of the traffic light signal slightly differ in japan how is it different from others the color combination is different and there are four options what do you think is the correct option you have 10 seconds with you is it a i'm so sorry you don't get it right it's red its option is red yellow blue which is d d is the right answer red yellow blue they have blue out there in theirs so only probably you miss in the set one of the round one but of course there is another set coming for this and we'll the catch question, up yes yes <laughs> my wishes are there with you so question number 5 goes to team 1 team 1 aldrin the question for you is identify the brand from this brand mascot no passes direct answer your it's mute right now your audio is mute the yes. host was muting me this is pillsbury pillsbury is absolutely right pillsbury pillsbury is correct so we move to the next question and the question number 6 for team 2 the mirzas interpret this it's a phrase interpret this it's like a muzzle mind puzzle interpret this yes time is ticking take a try logically explain this yes i'll give you a chance i'm so sorry there's no try anybody wants to take a try through it just you and me just between you and me just between you and me that's the phrase just between you and me So probably I'm giving you some cat questions. It's like that. Okay, question number seven for team three. That's Dhruv. Here it goes. Okay, that's a. एक चिड़िया रानी बड़ी सयानी अंडे दिए खास एक अजनबी अंडा लेकिन लुढ़क के आया पास उसमें से निकला है कछुआ पर जय हो बंधु वाली मैया तूने उसे भी गोद लिया I give you five seconds extra for this because the video is long. Yes, tell me five seconds more on this. Uh, is it kachwa chap? No, it is not kachwa chap. Anybody else? Just for fun. It's an edible. It's big baboon, the chewing gum. Big baboon. Sure, big baboon chewing gum. Team three misses this one, and we move to team four. for the last question of mix bag and which is number 8 here it goes in which sport would competitors use a piece of equipment known as a foil take your time you have a lot of time to think and answer in which sport would competitors use a piece of equipment known as a foil i know google google would have been great help right now but you know You know, even if you, even if you write sport and foil, the answer will come. Oh, who's, yeah. taking, who's taking a try? I'll tell you. It's like played like this. You know, it's fencing. Fencing. They use the saber, which is the fencing. Okay. So eight questions done. We will wait for the scores after. this round in between i'll be asking the question for the facebook live audience if you're there stay put and keep in mind that you need to write the answers on the comment section the question for all of you on facebook please don't answer anybody out here is what was the first task given by pm of india on the day of janta curfew double on is there please ignore that what was the first task given by the pm of india on the day of janta curfew 
So write the answers in the comment section. Four lucky winners amongst all the correct answers, which includes the question number two, three, four, one from each actually, will be announced at the end of the quiz. You are getting lucky vouchers from an re online retail store. You can order, use it during the lockdown also. So the question is, what was the first task given by the PM of India on the day of Janta curfew? I know it's an interesting question. So we won't be answering that as if we haven't read this. So people uh, watching us, viewing us on Facebook, please write that in the comment section. We will be selecting one of you and letting you know. You, you will be notified through Facebook itself. So if we have the scores ready, can we show it? Aldrin gets both of it correct. So it's 100. Mirza's and Dhruv are at par at 50 each. Lehala's yet to open the account. Both of them, he, they missed out. So the two questions. So we have clear leaders out here. Aldrin followed by Mirza's and Dhruv at the same score. Let's see what's up next. Can we start? Team one. Team one, the question. Aurora Borealis are seen above the magnetic poles of the northern hemispheres. What is the meaning of Aurora and what is the popular name of Aurora Borealis? You have 10 seconds, take your time and answer. This is basically a condition which happens when the winds start circulating together. I do not know the popular name of it, mostly found towards Norway side. So, you're right. We can see it from Norway, Oslo. We can see this, no doubt about it. But that is not my question. The question was different. So, who's team two is answering it? Northern Lights. And? Aurora is light. Northern, Northern light is the right answer. 10 points for that. And uh, the other part is goddess of dawn. Dawn or goddess of dawn. Aurora is the goddess of dawn. That's the meaning of it. And Aurora Borealis is uh, uh, the Northern light. Okay. Team two gets 10 points. Scorers, please note. That was a pass answer. Team two, the direct question for you. Find the odd one out and mention the reason. Four pictures, four different monuments. Which one is the odd one out? Have a look clearly, take your time and answer. If you miss, it moves on to team three. First, right now, it's for team two. Uh, number four. Can I have the reason? It's in India. All three are abroad. I'll give you the half the point. And the second one for that, you get it. This is this is the odd one out. Number four is the odd one out. And uh, Dhruv, why? Uh, I guess uh, the architectural style. This is probably I don't know. Maybe Indo-Saracenic, and the others are all. Uh, classic. So, so fourth one is in Vatican City. Yes, that's, that's in a different country, not in India. That's the St. So, Peter's Basilica over there. Absolutely, St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City. So that is the right answer which uh, Mr. Mirza gave. They get half the point. Question number three for team three, Dhruv. Yeah. The water here is filled with plankton or plankton and the movement of the waves cause, causes it to glow. What is it called and where is it? Team two, can you mute your mic, please? Um, is it called uh, water and it's found in Brazil? I'll, I'll give you a try one second. What you said? Repeat uh, that. Blue water and Brazil. Moves, moves to team four. Team four. Lehalas. Yeah, it's in uh, Maldives. This is happening in Maldives. So one part you get it right. This is Maldives. And then you get the half the answer for the past. The 10 points for Dehalas. And it's called Sea of Stars. It's the Vadu Island in Maldives. Vadu Island, Maldives. It's called Sea of Stars. Question number four for team four. I'm an Indian dairy desert 
originated in the Indian subcontinent in the 16th century. Who am I and what is the meaning of my name? Who Kulfi? am I and what is the meaning of my name? Kulfi is the right answer. Yes, Kulfi it is. And what does it mean? It means it's frozen. Frozen desert. Frozen desert. Uh, not that I think it is. No. Alden, you get a chance for the second part. I think Kulfi is the right answer. I think the reason it's called Kulfi because it's made in a mold. So you have to put it in a mold. So Kulla, Kulla me Kulfi banta hai. So wo hisab se Kulfi hai. <laughs> so I see you both of you not very far from it, but it's in simple. It means covered cup. That's the meaning of it. A covered cup. So I can't give for the second part. Yes, team four get it for the first one part of it. Kulfi is the right answer. So we uh, come to the end of the Thank set you. one of uh, the round two. And we move to the question number five. The question number five will be for team one. Aldrin, the direct question coming for you is right here. Nika mine has two chambers in it. One was discovered in 1910, 1910 and called the Cave of Sword. The other was discovered in 2000. What is it called and where are these mines? I would say you got a tough one. Mexico is the mines. Okay, that's right. One part is absolutely correct. And this looks like kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this looks like it moves on to the team two. Team two. The second part you have the uh, you have to tell what the cave is called. One is cave of sword. Second one is the cave of death. Cave of death. Yes. Not a bad try. It's the cave of the crystal. See this like crystal like shapes. Cave of the crystal. So Mexico is the right answer. Aldrin once again gets half the answer correct. So we, he, he is awarded that point and no passes, no points on the passes. Team two, the direct question. That is question number six. Here we go. Okay. Video out here. The question is, I am one of the most dangerous places to visit in the world, a 69 kilometer switchback and I can take you straight 2000 feet down in each turn. Hundreds have tasted death on this road. Who am I? Where can you find me? You get five seconds more out here. It's a long question. We give you five seconds more. Name of this road and where is it? Okay, your time's up. Team uh, three, five seconds for you. Le. Le. No, it is incorrect. Anybody wants to take a try? Again, uh, uh, Pradesh? No, sorry, I think uh, I get to, I get to try at it, right? Yeah. It's, uh, uh, is it called something like uh, Via Volcano in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii? No, incorrect. I gave you, the, though time was up, I gave you a try. It's incorrect. It is called the Death Road. The answer was there in the question. Hundreds have tasted death on this road. The death road it's called and it's in Bolivia. It's in Bolivia. Still, the bikers love this place. That's the challenge and that's the probably adrenaline rush they want. Okay, question number seven. is uh, This is for Dhruv, right? For team three, Dhruv, the direct question. Question number seven is here. I'm colorful garment for men and women in West Africa. People call me Kitinge in East America. Who am I and which cap goes perfect with me? What do they wear? And who are these people, I guess? Who am I and which cap goes perfect with me? I'll say the Bantu people and uh, the cap that goes with this is the Fez cap. Is? Fez. Fez. Fez is, I think, uh, Morocco. Morocco. Yeah. Morocco. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, okay. Ne move next. Team four. No five, five seconds you have. Okay, you pass it completely. The answer for this is uh, they are the Dashiki. Dashiki and Kufi. They're not uh, Morocco. They're from some other place, which my research team will probably check with me and check and let me know. So, they are the, the cap they wear is Kufi. And it's Dashiki, the people. Question number eight for team four. Question number eight for team four. Lehala's directly coming for you. 
Name two countries where Coca Cola is banned. Imagine Coca Cola is banned. Two countries. North Korea. Okay. And, uh, uh, okay, you have time. Ten seconds. Take a take your time. America. America. North Korea is right. We move to team one for the second country. Team one. Five seconds you've got for the first, second country. North Korea is right. With the second country. Your mic, your mic was off. I'll give you five Ye seconds. Yemen. Yemen is incorrect. Yemen is incorrect. Please is it keep. Cuba? It is Cuba. It is Cuba. Absolutely. Cuba and North Korea. North Korea was an easy guess. Actually, everything is banned there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything is bad. Yeah. So you get half the points, uh, team four, the Lehalas, and we come to the end uh, of uh, the round the world round, which is uh, round two. We will be calculating the scores of this round and where are you standing exactly. Roughly, you must be having an idea. In this meantime, once again, let me welcome everybody at, at having a look at us, watching us on the Facebook live. Thank you so much for being there and myself, Rehan, hosted the show along with lovely team members, Dhruv, Lehalas, Aldrin and the Mirzas. And this is the David and Goliath, the lockdown quiz to fight hunger with Voiceworks. And we are there on semi-final one. Tomorrow we'll be doing the semi-final two and then we move on to the finals which will be on 29. So let's have the Facebook question which is coming up. And this is the second question which is there. Please answer it on in the comment section. The Indian government has launched a new app that will help people track COVID-19 infections more accurately and effectively. Name the app. It's a wonderful job done by the government. So which app is this? You have to write the answers in the comment section. Four lucky winners amongst all the correct answers will be announced at the end of the quiz. That's your Facebook live question too for all the people watching us, the FB audience and commenting and sharing our live quiz which is happening right away so with this we move on to uh, the third round and before that i will be showing the scores so let's have a look at the scores are we ready with this my team so you can see where is who so alden is still leading and uh, dhruv you are lagging behind in the fourth position mirzas are in the second and lehalas in the third so dhruv has to buck up while alden is uh, Continuing with his lead with 125, Mirza with 85, Lehalas with 60 and Dhruv team 3 with 50. See, uh, it will be a choice for team 1, Aldrin. You need to pick which one you want. I'll go with number 7. Number 7, okay. Any specific reason why number 7? That's my birth date. Oh, birth date. Let's go. Lucky 7 for Aldrin, team 1. Question is, spot the mistake and rectify. What is wrong with this video or the audio? See, the lady singing the song is Alia Bhatt. Uh, the song is there, Main Tenu Samjava. And the uh, track which was over looping it was, uh, it sounded like Kamen Kabelo, if I'm not wrong. So first part is absolutely correct. The second part is incorrect. You get the 50 points. Since I am not able to take a lot of tries out here, this being the semi-final, Alia Bhatt Samjhava and the song which was there at the background. Anyone wants to take a try? It's quite popular these days. It's Belly Eilish with the song Lovely. That was a song which was going overlaid on that. So we move to uh, team one gets 50 points there. Scorers, please note, he got one part of it. Alia Bhatt and Samjhava, correct? Is and there passing team, in this round? No passing. No passing. Right? No passing. No passing. Team two. Are you ready? Please take a pick. You need to switch on the mic. Yeah, we are doing muting it in between sometimes to make it even more audible so others can hear. Yeah. Team two. Go with number four. Number four. All right. Let's hit a chalk up.
Listen carefully. It says the Mirza's father and daughter. We first met long back. Yeah. You just come back from the U.S. In, after graduating in architecture and uh, structural engineering, that's, wasn't that's it? That's correct. Yes. Is that what you had planned to do with your life—to become an architect? Yes. Um, in fact, I worked in the U.S. as an architect and as a structural engineer for a period of time after I graduated, and had no intention of coming back. So you were well. Okay. The question is: What is the name of the popular chat show by Simi Grival, and who is she interviewing? Your time is ticking. The Mirzas, team two. You discuss and answer. Yes, that's the best Favorite way to do it. That show is, I guess, the most desirable men. That's incorrect. And the second part. Imran Khan. No, there's no point for that. You missed it. It was not Imran Khan. Who was it? Anybody wants to take a try? You missed it. I would like. I would like. To. Yes, Alvin, tell me. The show is called Rendezvous with Simi Garhwal. Absolutely and correct. And the person who probably she was interviewing after architecture should be Mr. Ratan Tata. Super answer, Alvin. You deserve it. Super. Wish that there were pass marks out here with good points to you. Ratan Tata and uh, Rendezvous with Simi Garhwal. There is a very popular uh, uh, episode also with Imran Khan, which I agree that was also very popular. One of the highest watched one, viewed one. So Mirza is not this one, but no points to anyone. Only pat on the back for Alvin. Team three, Dhruv, take your pick. Uh, eight. Okay, eight. Let's stop eight and see what's here. Listen to it carefully. <laughs> वृक्ष हो भले खड़े हो बड़े हो घने एक पत्र छाह भी मांग मत मांग मत ओके द क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच पोएम इज ही रिसाइटिंग एंड हु रोट इट अग्निपथ हिज फादर हरिवंश राय बच्चन सुपर आंसर दिस फुल 100 फॉर ध्रुव बट ही इज ऑल स्माइलिंग ही गॉट इट राइट आई विश आई जस्ट आई विश टीसी वाज राइट नाउ ऑनलाइन वाचिंग दिस ओके सो <clears throat> Full hundred point for Dhruv, and uh, uh, let's go back to the score. Team three has got it right. Team one got one part of it. Team two missed it. Let's see what team four does and which one they pick. The Lehalas, take your pick. Two. Uh, repeat, please. Two. The number two. two. All yeah. right, number two. There you go. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Again, listen carefully. The question is: Name the singer, and what is the meaning of the Nepali phrase "kasto maza hai raylama"? Yeah, kasto maza hai raylama. Time is taking. Kasto maza hai raylama means uh, having fun when with me on the rail on the railway. Having fun, uh, having fun on the railway. <laughs> okay, I'll give it to you. And the singer. Uh, and the singer Sonu is Nigam. Sonu Nigam. Super answer, full hundred for the Lehala's team four. It's is Sonu Nigam and meaning how much fun it is to be in the train. That is the custom Azair Elama and the complete. Then he goes on to say with you also. That's completely uh, there for team four and Lehala's get a full hundred out here. But we have four more questions and four more picks. Team one, we are back to you, Aldrin. Which one is it this time? I'll take the number six. Number six and number six is there for you. Okay, the same song, two different versions. Uh, name the singer from the first song and Indian movie from the second song. I mean, similar version, different the, versions of the same song. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the second uh, part of the uh, Indian film. Lady yes. is a Pakistani singer. Uh, 
you're very close the lady is she's known as some bb and the indian movie from the song is of imran hashmi the thing would be jannat okay jannat is right and the first part is a pakistani singer <coughs> so i'll give you 25 for that but the singer is anybody it's reshma bb okay you can see also known as reshma something but you can people generally call bb in pakistan and bangladesh everybody is bb like so it is 25 plus 50 he gets it for being prompt on the answer and uh, the jannat is the movie we move to <laughs> question number 2 team 1 has got it one okay let's have some fun <laughs> Question is name the brand of the TVC television commercial and the song is from which Bollywood movie? Team two, Mirza's. Time is ticking. Uh, the ad is for Kit Kat. Okay, that's right. And which movie is the song from? Sorry, the time is up. Anybody else? Kit Kat and Mr. India. Mr. Oh, India, Kit Kat and Mr. India. Absolutely, oh. the ad man talking about it. You, it can't miss you. So Kit Kat for that you get Mirza's uh, full for fifty, and there's a no answer for the second part, so nobody gets any score, and no passes out here. Okay, team three, you have left three and five. Uh, three. Three for three. Okay. The question is, who has given the voice for Bhutir Raja? You just heard, or King of Ghost? And name the movie. Dhruv, the question is for you. Gupi Gain Bagavain is the film, and I think the voice was a, a warped version of Satyajit Ray's own voice. Super answer, Dhruv. Super. Dhruv Mukherjee gets it full bang on. Team three, full hundred points. Satyajit Ray, the warped voice. I don't know how at those times they used to take out these sounds and record it. Even that can be a quiz question, maybe for some other time. And Gupi Gain Bagavain. I remember the big rasgullas in that movie. You know, there's some kind of scene a big rasgulla this so. So it was like a like a amazing stuff to watch. Or you don't have a choice. I'll give you a pick, and which is number five. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay, there you go. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. Enough said. Absolutely. Name the creator of the Marvel comics we can see in this clip. That's a hint. In which movie he was seen even after his death using CGI? Um, the second answer is uh, Avengers. Need to give a full. Avengers are too many. Uh, the last one. Okay, we'll we'll come back to that. Come to what is the first answer? I don't remember his name. Here. So I'll give you half. I'll give you half the point. It was okay. Avengers End Game, which was end released game, last game, year. Right. I'll right. give you half the point of the answer. It's twenty-five points only. All right. The okay. scorer's please note it. Uh, since they haven't answered the complete, so we give them we're very close to it, half the point, and no answer for the first part of it. Stanley. So it, yes, Stanley. I was coming to it. Who's going to answer? Stanley is the answer, and it was amazing the way they showed in CGI, the way. <clears throat> Yes, I think no more locks to be unlocked. It's all, all of them have been unlocked in this David and Goliath, the lockdown quiz with me, Rehan Baris, and Voiceworks events welcomes all of you, the participants who have been here, who have not been able to qualify, and who will be, who are going to be there in semi-final two tomorrow, right here from four to five pm, where again all the Facebook uh, viewers can watch us live and enjoy it and answer also probably take part in the online contest that we are running, where we will be announcing the winners and who. 
and they will be uh, getting online e vouchers from some retail store where they can shop during this, this lockdown time also so while the scores are being tabulated and we are also uh, checking the winners of facebook who are where they are happening so we will move to the uh, next round in between in between we will have the question all right and this is the question fb live question 3 when will the second nationwide lockdown end all right i really want people to comment in high Rahan, numbers i guess answer. no answers you, you don't have, have a question to which there is no answer nobody will <laughs> <knows> answer <laughs> so second nationwide that's why <laughs> second nationwide lockdown end it is announced and of course if the changes happen that's a different thing but the last time our honorable pm came and he announced a date i need to know what is that date so write the answers in the comments section four lucky winners amongst all correct answers will be announced at the end of the quiz so let me repeat once again the last time our honorable pm came he mentioned a date that the lockdown will end what is that date so we pray that happens it ends on that day itself so if it's good enough for the every for the mankind otherwise we're ready for the long run so what's where so dhruv has come in par with uh, alrin that's interesting team 1 and team 3 at par and uh, team 4 lehalas have overtaken the mirzas too much of up and down going on superb i love this quiz the way it is going one Team one at two fifty, having scored one twenty five in this round. Team two at one thirty five, having scored fifty in this round. Team three two fifty, having scored two hundred. Both of them correct in this round. A game changer for team three, that is Dhruv. And team four one eighty five with one twenty five in this round. This is gonna be fun, and let's see who comes out winner from one three four two. Let's see. It's I think it's still open. It's a game with two more rounds to go. Aldrin Yeah you go Okay good there's another in between check for me name any five from clip Observe carefully name any five from the clip So if you I'll let I'll clarify one more thing if you probably say seven all right all seven are correct you you still get the scores for five each has 10 points all right You at par with Dhruv I'm adding some pressure on you First of all it's a big pleasure to compete at least with Dhruv Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on. Question for team one, another breaker. That's here. Okay, your time starts. Tell me what five logos you saw. Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. Time is gone. You got Very three fast. correct. Yes, yes, that's how the competition is. So, so we have got, and this is for Dhruv. Okay. Which was for me? Yeah, coming for you. Oh, sorry. No. Team two. Team two. Mirzas. Team two. You ready? monuments these are monuments yes taj mahal jantar mantar qutub minar leaning tower of pisa oops three you also got three correct and i'll give uh, the all the right answers later on so so you got three correct that is jantar mantar taj mahal qutub minar even uh, Team one, Alvin got three correct. Pinterest, TikTok, and Instagram. So till now it has been easy checking for us. It's not difficult as much as I thought. So team three, you got the hang of it. You have the advantage of seeing two people how it's going. Now let's see what the question is for you. Team three, Dhruv, coming up. Okay, car brands. Uh, Name that. uh ferrari bmw volkswagen jaguar audi i just named five brands i didn't even see what was there 
so that is why one is incorrect audi was not there so first a... four is correct bmw ferrari volkswagen bmw ferrari volkswagen and jaguar these uh, four were there 40 points uh, through for this thing and we move to lehalas are you ready okay so team four you've seen what is happening and uh, you have to name any five of the things or logos or places or people or whatever i don't know what is there so let's see the question 4 for team 4 okay the superheroes name america think and name you have 15 seconds five at least correct one one is captain america please go on hulk mane i could see only captain america i go did not on. see anything else we could is see only captain could... america in the video so i mean that's your network out there but you still I gave two two answers i'll batman. give you <laughs> no batman was not there now you can't take try like that it's not given like that. actually <laughs> we we could see only captain america there captain america. so your video is giving a problem to you so yeah, i, I, I told so. you so lags are possible because here etc and our back end and my backup uh, laptop is absolutely fine so from your you may just probably quickly restart it and then connect so i can give you uh, till the time we come back to you you are fixed so right the okay. question will move we'll to to 1 2 3 and then comes back to you so you have 2 minutes or 3 minutes to fix it and come back okay okay we'll and do that so i've been fair from my side by giving you time but you know that with the show must go on so lehala's so got okay. two, fine, two correct out here lehala's got two correct out here so captain america and hulk so 20 for that and we'll move okay. to team 1 uh, one, once again and uh, this is uh set to where i told you you you're getting uh 10 seconds to spot the diff, uh, spot, to tell us spot it and tell us which is the correct logo all right can you hear me clearly aldrin to spot and tell us correctly which is the correct logo all right or whichever design it is it's a popular thing you must have seen uh, yeah. beforehand so it comes right time is too short out here just keep in mind the timer starts as soon as we move to that screen All right the question for team 1 is here B you are incorrect i'll just time is up correct answer is a which the hyphen is attached to b that's the different you miss out this one and uh, we move to team 2 the mirzas all right the similar question coming for you the timer starts as soon as it moves to your screen okay stay put and stay ready which one is correct answer the timing is time is going up a and All right, I'll give one try. One answer. B. B. B is the correct answer. B is the correct answer. Super. B. B. It is. So one person. That's why one person has to answer. Question number seven. Dhruv, you are there. Yeah. Okay. So team three. So question number seven. And uh, in the meantime, after that, uh, the lehalas will be coming probably. So they have been brought in, I guess. Team question number seven for team three. Yes, Dhruv. A. A is the correct answer. Super. Four points to you. A is the correct answer. Microsoft logo, the one which is red and green, is has been interchanged, and the blue and yellow too. So that is the correct answer, and we have got on time. Actually, the Lehala is also back. Team four. If you can just mention team four also there in the name, so it will be very easy for us. This is the question. Team four. A. A is the right answer. A is the right answer. A is the right answer. Super. Yes. Yes. A is the right answer. A is the right answer. Since we have already taken a lot of time, is. past 5 now we move to the last round and uh, we will come to know uh, what has happened with everything in the meantime 
in the meantime we will be telling announcing the uh, facebook live question number 4 which participants please don't answer it so this is uh, uh, answer for the basically current affairs you can say that goa is the first state to recover and become corona virus free name the other three states see nagaland and sikkim never had actually i guess so let's not talk about it i'm making it easy for you name the other three states where we had uh, the disease but they have recovered fully so if they had seven like go ahead seven and all the seven have recovered so that is the question for all the people watching the david and goliath uh, david and goliath the lockdown quiz to fight hunger with voice works events the question for you is goa is the first state to recover and become corona virus free name the other three states write the answers in the comment section four lucky winners amongst all the correct answers will be announced at the end of the quiz which is the end of this round yes we will announce at the end of this round so hurry up write it and uh, if you have missed out the contest before you can still be a part of it and be a sport by staying with us till the end of this quiz this is semi final 1 semi final 2 will be tomorrow in a short while we'll let you know who all the participants uh, were uh, will be there tomorrow and also we are getting ready with the scores so let's show the scores can we yes sir okay so let's see the scores as in we stand right now so what's happened uh, dhruv has taken a good lead at 340 and aldrin has just slipped back with 280 uh, lehalas not far behind on 255 so are the mirzas not far behind at 215 it has been a fantastic quiz i would say think so absolutely see so luckily the others didn't score very highly in that uh, round otherwise uh, probably by 10 or 20 points they got ahead i think we could have sco scored well in that round okay superheroes yeah i think a easy easy thing <laughs> you can have got yeah, maybe right. 50 points full so right. you got only 20 so as of now we have uh, dhruv leading the pack followed by alvin then lehalas and the mirzas and the rules so team 1 the last round do you need alvin which one 7 7 seven. Seven is his birthday as he said and advanced birthday no which one it is november november is very far okay <laughs> thankfully will be out of lockdown okay question okay. number 7 for you here full 100 if you guess it now or you can ask for reveal one reveal please sabya sachi mukherjee super that's absolutely correct that's the right answer well done let me see how it looks Nahi. I should have taken the try on the first one. You got seventy-five, right? Uh, competition's close now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, team two. Team two. Yes. Number one. Number one. All right. Full hundred. If you guess now, full hundred. Arijit Singh. Super answer. Full hundred, and they got it. It is Arijit Singh. See for yourself, Arijit Singh. Okay, let's move. Team two get full hundred. Team three, it's getting hot and tough. Let's see, team three, who, which one you got to pick? Eight. Eight. Okay. Full hundred. Full hundred. If you answer now. Uh, uh another reveal, please. Ah. Uh, you got to know. You can't take a wrong answer. Ah, uh, can't be sure. So one more, please. Ah, <laughs> no, full please. Ah, that's what I thought. Uh, Sanya Mirza. Sanya Mirza. Sanya Mirza. I thought this about is... after the second itself, but <laughs> so, but only only photograph. only one. Tree. Yeah, this yeah, is it's I mean, an old photograph. Ah, <laughs> old photograph. That's a trick. So, twenty-five <laughs> for team three. Dhruv, though he was not sure, but he had the answer, and I could see it that he knew it, but he is not taking a try because uh, there's only one try. This is also mentioned to everybody. There's only one try. If you say incorrectly, the chance is gone. So team four, which one? Number two. Number two. Here you go. Full hundred. If you get answer it now. Reveal. Finish this. Okay, okay. 
and i wish you and your team all the best and i would also like to thank uh, uh, lal bhatia and all those who are associated with david and goliath for coming up with such a wonderful team and i wish other organization other individual other corporate to come forward and try to help those who are in need at the moment thank you mr shen shah mirza and wasma you guys are great sport a good team a father daughter duo very nice to have you guys and uh, lehalas what about the brothers out here sorry for the technical lag probably i mean you need yeah, i just told you uh, i know still yeah. yes okay. the best team wins we were afraid of drovan adrian at the first moment only <laughs> by looking at them or you saw the quizzes before i saw the quizzes before okay <laughs> by the way drov just won the that round i remember in the first round he was not at his best you know right. he was losing in the last round he answered and just overtook the girl sidra will uh, be there tomorrow it. we knew it he'll be able to do it yeah my my, my two favorite answers for today were, one was pillsbury Uh, and the second was uh, prince of wales i think mr mirza would have answered that even without uh, the multiple choice <laughs> <laughs> i think he seemed to really know the answer was it in fact i didn't know the i didn't know this uh, uh, nugget of information it's very interesting we have our four four questions so ladies and gentlemen just remind you once to remind you once again tomorrow is the semi final uh, two where we have uh, uh, four participants uh, coming up and they will they are the siddiqis the insha siddiqi and uh, asha siddiqi nibin gregory manav soni and sidra irfan sidra irfan being the youngest one of the lot she is just about to turn 18 she is in class 12 in mahadev builder world academy but she did came second uh, and uh, dhruv led that uh, quiz uh, session so we have the winners of the facebook let's see it who they are so akash chug rohit sharma Nikita Lehala Agarwal and Rumi Baba congratulations all of you have won vouchers from online retail outlet who can help you during this uh, lockdown period congratulations for getting the answers correct okay so here you go Alrin 3 2 the winner is Alrin superb just by 15 points Dhruv is missed out only by 15 it's a at number 3 team 1 team 3 followed by the mirza that at 315 and then the lehalas who were who have been really good in the previous round but today probably they just got uh, beaten by better teams i would say or you can say they were they had they were running in some bad luck too so congratulations alrin you are the winner and uh, along with dhruv mukherjee both of you qualify for the finals as you can see in the round 5 the scores have really dramatically changed 175 aldrin scored and 100 apis mirzas and roof scored while lehalas couldn't score there in this round so we have the winners and the runners up who are moving to the semi uh, moving to the final which is on 29th on wednesday and this is a real pleasure for me to the the Aldrin, you are calculating your scores now. What do you have to say? Nothing. Drew just took one reveal more in Cassius Clay. Otherwise, I was out of the game. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he had that just one one small try he had, which he took the chance. Probably he had the scores calculated in mind. No, I didn't. Actually, I should have calculated. Then I would have. Uh, uh, I just thought I had no idea if so I didn't want to take a risk. <laughs> okay, thank you once again. Thank you team members. Thank you each one thank of you. you for being a part. My thank request so to much. each one of you is please share the Facebook video. Please watch it even if you have not qualified for the finals. Please watch it, share your comments, take part in the online part. As uh, Mr. Mirza as I rightfully said, I mean we are here is to participate and support the cause and that is what the this online event is unique experimental event of ours is all about please support us by sharing your feedback too thank you once again with this i bid each one of you adieu sure dhruv aldrin will be in touch we'll get okay. back thank, thank you wasma thank you shanjabai thank you thank you thank you, thank you.